In this problem, we're asked to compute the sum of the series 1 plus 2 to the n over 3 to the n as n goes from 1 to infinity. Now, it's pretty rare that we can compute the sum of any series, but one of the few formulas that we have to do this is the formula for the sum of a geometric series, and comparison to that is really the key to this problem. So as a quick reminder, the way I normally present a geometric series is I write it starting from n equals 1, you can also do this starting from n equals 0, and it just tweaks the formula a little bit. And we write it as a times r to the n minus 1, where r is called the common ratio. And every time n steps up by 1, you end up multiplying by another factor of r. And so we showed that the sum of a geometric series turns out to be a over 1 minus r. So when I consider the series given to us in this problem, I immediately think, well, let's break it up into two pieces, and I think each of those pieces looks like a geometric series. So we're dividing 1 plus 2 to the n by 3 to the n, but we could also write that as a 1 over 3 to the n plus a 2 to the n over 3 to the n. And now I can just write this as two separate series. The first one, I'm going to go ahead and write it now as 1 third to the nth power. So there's that key property that we're multiplying by another factor of 1 third every time n steps up by 1. So this is geometric. And then my second series, I'm going to write this as 2 thirds to the n, also a geometric series. We still need to fit this form where we have an r to the n minus first power. And that means we need to split off a factor of 1 third from the first one. So I have the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 third times 1 third to the n minus 1. And then in my second series, the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 2 thirds times 2 thirds to the n minus 1. So now this fits the form of a geometric series perfectly, and we can write down the sum of each of these pieces. In the first one, the a is 1 third, and the r is 1 third, so I have 1 third over 1 minus 1 third. In the second one, the a is 2 thirds, and the r is 2 thirds, so I have 2 thirds over 1 minus 2 thirds. And just cleaning things up a little, in the first one, in the denominator, 1 minus a third is 2 thirds. So I have my numerator multiplied by the reciprocal of 2 thirds, so 1 third times 3 halves. And then for the second one, there's my numerator 2 thirds. The denominator is 1 third, and the reciprocal of that is 3 over 1. And we clean things up a little bit, and I end up with 1 half plus 2, which I could then write as 5 halves. So there it is, one of those rare occasions where we can actually sum up a series. And it turns out, if you add together infinitely many terms of this form, 1 plus 2 to the n over 3 to the n, it actually approaches 5 halves. If you enjoyed this video, or at least found it useful, check out another one by clicking one of the links on the left, or click the Zax Lab logo on the right to explore dozens of physics and math playlists. As always, you can leave your questions, comments, and requests in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching Zach's Lab, and best of luck on your math and physics journey.